this octic canister right here. It has to go, man. Welcome to the third episode here of the build series on this 690 Enduro, which will be made into a badass shit hot supermoto. In today's video, we will be installing the SAS delete kit here. The SAS canister delete kit for the 690 Enduro and SMC. This is the pirate number here from Rottweiler. So uh, let's dive right into it, guys. First thing we need to do is get over here to the left side of the bike where you see the fuel dongle also from last time. So left side of the bike and what you want to locate is this bad boy right there. That one, yeah. What we want to do is we want to start by taking off this hose right here. And what we want to start out by doing is pull off this hose right here. So let me see if I can do that by hand. And it's off. Next, we want to go to the opposite side here of the bike. Let's go. And then the next thing you want to do is take the hose here that comes from the other side. It goes up here. And it, let me follow this one. Oh, it's not zip tied up here. So then we're gonna take off the clamps right here. Take off these soups here. Off they go. And that was the tubes here from the canister. I don't know if you could see it in the angle. I was working in before, so. And now we are gonna unscrew this. Thank you. And then a bottle of who gives a shit. Off you go. And then we're gonna unscrew that one also, so we don't have all the crap hanging up there. This screw right in here. That helped. Off you go. What a piece of don't matter crap. But I'm gonna save this little tightener here. Oops. Come on out, man. There you were. Now, next step is the hose we took off from the beginning on the other side. On this side of that one, this hose here, we're gonna take this one and pop it off also. So, let me get this one off. Oops, like that. And then we just wanna remove it right here as you see right here boom so now we have these hanging free the one the ends that went on the canister now we're gonna cut these off right here so we can remove the thick holes here off we go now we only have the thin holes left here and you see in here it sits in this Y piece right here so what we want to do is uh, we now want this thick holes right here the breather line or whatever you want to call it for the tank we need to get this loosened up so first we're gonna cut this zip tie right here boom and then oh it has these what is this it has here it has one more was this a zip tie we're gonna find out now. Yeah, this is definitely just a zip tie. 
no problem at all off with that so next part here is now that we got this thick hose here the breather line loosened up the wire part in here are also loose so uh, so let me see if I can pull this one out from here without having to cut anymore let me get this zip tie out of the way first off you go in the way here. What the hell is in the way here? Hmm. It's as if it just got more stuck than it was before, but uh, no. It's gonna come out now. I'm just gonna pull out this one right here. Then it must be possible to get it out from here. Then what you want to do is you're going to take your kit and you're going to take this little connector here. And right now, before you disconnect anything else, you're just going to take this one, this the slim hose here, which went on the canister to begin with, and you're going to put this one in right away so it is ready. This won't be needed actually this part here it won't be needed so let me put this over here and then what you want to do is disconnect this part right here so we now have this the slim hose from the canister and we're gonna save this moment just leave it hanging up here over the bike and now it gets a little strange because what you want to do now is first we're gonna get this the breather line here for the tank we're gonna get this out through here if we can Let me get up there it's gonna come up here grab this one this is the gas, the gasoline. Now this is where it gets really awkward because you really need to hold, get a grip on this, so. Go berserk. So, I pulled off this whole part here. Do not lose your grip on this one. Get this in here right away. I would say, take a couple of small zip ties here and put them on. And this part where you make the connection, just to give it a little more security and not just popping off again. These, the small chip size here, didn't come in the kit, by the way. So if you want to do this, get your own goddamn chip size, man. So now, is give it a little bit of hold here, I would say. So, cut them off right away. Boom. You are now ready for the next part. And then what you want to do is you want to take this new slim hose here that we just connected here. And we're going to guide it down here so it comes out down here. And then just guide it down right here. So it comes out here, under the bike, down here. It's right here. So, and then we're gonna put a new zip tie on this part right here. Good quality zip ties right here in the Rottweiler kit. So let me grab one of those and put a new zip tie around this down here so we have control 
over this hose. And I want to be able to zip tie it up here also, so I'm gonna give it a little slack here. Like that. This is gonna be so nice, man. So very, very nice. Let's see here. Don't tighten this too much because, yeah, that's just a bad idea. So, do it like this. Boom. And now, down here at the bottom, just right here. You see here? Just cut off the excess holes here that you don't need. So, I would say, I'll do it like right here. Boom. Off you go. And now, for the next part here, we need to be messing with the sash valve right here. So, first off, we are gonna unscrew this one. So now that this is off, it gives us much better room to go inside here. We need to get that one unplugged. So let me do that. I'll have to remove the camera a little, but uh, I said, it's this one right in here, behind the valve here. So I'm gonna move the camera a little out of the way here. So now we got it out, and this is the part that you want to get out. And then just unplug this, boom, looks like this. So now you take this plug right here from your kit, and then you just plug this on right here. Fits like a glove, man. And then for the next part, we're going over on the other side of the bike. Okay guys, here on the other side, same side where we have the fuel dongle. Remember, we took off this hose at the beginning of this video. Right now, you can go two ways. Either you can cut it and put a plug in it, or, which comes with the kit, or you can also do it like I do it right now, which is to remove the hose here first, Let's get it off, boom, off here, and then, let me put some zoom on this baby again, there, this golden boy in there, you see, right in front of my finger, and then you have your deep socket here, which is a 9, and unscrew this whole golden boy in there. And it's out. This is the one we just unscrewed here. And then instead, we're gonna take this little fella here. This little bolt here that comes with the Rottweiler kit with a little copper gasket. Give this some grease here, some ceramic grease, boom, and then we are just gonna screw this one back in up here, so now that's that, now we just have this screw in here so now we got that one blocked off let's go back to the other side okay so next step here is you see the zip tie right here we are gonna cut that that's the first thing here the valve here these two zip ties here cut them off and then we slide both of these tubes here off and now we have this valve right here push down very hard on this and then boom like this 
Now next part is we're gonna take this one off. Let's take this piece of hose off here right away. So now we have put this off. We're gonna take this part off here. Now this should come right off. Which did. Very simple. This goes right here. Wow, that's also much nicer looking, man. These bolts here, we're just reusing the same bolts. So let me give them some Loctite here. This looks nice, man compared to that big bulky chunk of absolutely nothing. Okay, so last step here in this process is this hose right here. Cut it wherever you find it fitting to be cut. I will say I will cut mine around right about here. You go back to your kit and you find this baby right here and this goes directly into this one let's see here come on boy here we go boom fits like a glove and then we're gonna take one of these supplied zip ties here Extra security for this not to fall out. Cut the excess there. Now, all we need to do is the plug right here. That's just loose now. So you see, we have some shrink tube here and this blue wire right here. This blue wire fits perfectly right here boom then it looks like this and this is what you need the shrink tube for we're gonna put this around this part right here and then we're gonna make sure that there is enough in both ends for it to be totally secure I would say right around here and for this we need a heat gun so let me get my heat gun freeze I'm a faker put your hands in the air and give me all your money or just give me a KDM man so now we're gonna shrink this close but be careful man very hot stuff this and I'm not talking about the bike even though that's hot stuff too but this can really hold some heat man really hold some heat so watch your hands okay I would say that's it you now take the piece that you just shrink to and the little plug here and we're gonna and I'm of course talking about the shrink tube part right here and this part right here from before and then we are gonna zip tie it somewhere where you find it most fitting so all you really need to do right now is Find a place for your sticker and then on the more serious side take a walk around the bike and uh, put some zip ties 
where you removed zip ties. Also this one right here, I'm gonna zip tie it. So that's it, man. That's all you need to do. So in episode one, we installed the Wings exhaust. Episode two, we installed the Rottweiler fuel dongle. And here in episode three, we installed the SAS canister and delete kit for this bike, also by Rottweiler. Nice stuff, man. And I'm telling you right now, you really wanna stay tuned for one of the parts that's lying over there on my table, because that is a custom part designed specifically on my bike exclusively. And I can say I've already taken a peek on it and it's, whoo, it's seriously nice. So uh, subscribe to the channel, guys, if you haven't already done so. Do it before your neighbor does, okay? Uh, throw me a like, throw a comment if there's something you want me to talk about or you have a question or if you just want to tell me that uh, you think I'm a beep or whatever, just throw me a comment, man. In episode four, it will either be that or it will be a Kubelink. I didn't actually plan to install a Kubelink, but uh, I, you know, I got one for a good price, so uh, I figured, why not, man? I've seen so many people talk about it, both good and bad, and you know, I just have this adventurous desire, man. I just want to try stuff, so I'm gonna put a Kubelink on, see how it is, just for the fun of it, and make a video out of it for those who don't know how to install one. So uh, Kubelink, and of course, I said the secret part so uh, stay tuned guys and that's it for this time peace mode moto signing off Ooh.